I'm gonna show you guys how to break a gel cast so that your curls go from looking like this to this. Hey guys, it's Truly and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about why you need a hair gel. I used to use curl creams all of the time and I used to swear by them. But as you can tell by these photos here, I am not slaying the way I should be. <laughs> this is currently my all-time favorite hair product. This is the Love Your Curls Irish Sea Moss Gel and I just feel like it doesn't dry my hair out, it doesn't flake, my curls look defined. Well, you know what, let me just show you guys it in action. I need a towel first because I hate when my hair is dripping on me. So I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair into two, basically a half up half down section, so pretty much right in the middle. And then I just use a claw clip to get it out of the way. The hairbrush I'm using today is by Kiss Products. I just love how big the handle is and I feel like I can really get a grip on it. And if your hair is really tangly, you already know that you need to be able to hold your brush tight. Something I used to always think about gels is that the cast of a gel just stayed there, like you just had to live with that gel cast. And actually the other day when I was at the Design Me pop-up, I met another curly hair influencer who said the exact same thing. So often with gels we don't want to use a lot because we're trying to avoid that cast but actually that cast is such a great thing because when you break it with a butter or an oil your curls are literally flawless. Like the amount I used to use for two small sections I used to use all over my whole head and no wonder I never had good definition. You guys can see here how much product I really have in my hair. It's a lot but it's needed I promise. And then I just go ahead and brush it through to make sure it's just evenly spread throughout the hair and then I move on to the next section. A question that I'm constantly asked is what is my curl type? Now anytime I say that my curl type is 3C people usually fight me on it but anytime I look at the charts I feel like my hair just looks and feels more like a 3C texture. Also anytime I've gotten my hair Done, they've always said I'm like 3C and before I dyed my hair and loosened up my curls a little bit They used to say I had a little bit of 4A in some sections It's kind of hard to see my true curl texture through camera, but believe me I do have pretty coarse hair But like I said after I've dyed it my curl pattern has just slightly changed But I'm definitely still in the 3C range my hairdresser is actually the reason I ended up falling in love with hair gels The way I love them now and I'll tell you exactly what totally convinced me to switch from curl creams to curl gels except that I don't fully not use curl creams anymore. I still love a good curl cream moment, but I typically reach for a gel. It was the fact that I could stretch my wash days 10 times further than I could with a curl cream. When you wet your hair and you have a gel, it almost like reactivates the gel, so it's like kind of restyling your hair on its own. I feel like that's what really helps me maintain definition all through the week, especially on like even day five. Also, with using curl gels a lot more often now, I also haven't noticed as much dryness. I don't know if it's just maybe I'm taking better care of my hair or if it's even related, but I feel Feel like it was enough of a point that I needed to mention it to you guys. Oh no, my hair is starting to touch me. Before applying my hair gel, I did not put very much in my hair. All I did was leave in a little bit of a leave-in conditioner, and that's literally it. I love this curl gel because it's also super hydrating, which never really made sense to me because I was like, if it's a gel, how is it hydrating? But it just is. Anytime I haven't fully saturated my hair with water and tried to style it, I also lose a lot of definition. If you're going for more of a fluffy look and you're not prioritizing definition, then you don't have to have your hair fully saturated like what I'm doing but I like a good mixture between definition and volume so I feel like this is just what works best for me now you guys are gonna lose eyesight with me because I gotta brush my bangs forward maybe I can just move Oh gosh, that's not flattering at all. <laughs> I actually just ordered this viral hair gel that I keep seeing all over TikTok. It's by the brand Innersense and it's called I Create Hold. Literally anytime I click onto a curly girl's profile and I wanna know what product she's using, I always see that she's using Innersense. And I've heard of that brand before because I used to shop at the Detox Market, which is like a clean beauty store a long time ago. And I still do now, but I don't really browse the site as much because I just get what I want and leave. <laughs> but I was browsing the site the other day, noticed they had it and I just had to place an order because I need to know for myself if it's really worth the hype. So so stay tuned for a video on that and I have completely lost the towel now and the gel is touching me and I absolutely hate it. Now that you guys can see my curls up close a little bit more, you can see that they're fully saturated in this gel. And as you can see, my curls are already fully defined because they're so saturated and just clumping on their own. If you get a lot of frizz like me, then you might want to go through with your brush and just grab a few sections to clump them even more. I especially love to do this with my bangs. Once I've clumped all my curls, this is when I scrunch. So what I like to do is flip my, all my hair upside down and I always like to make sure I have a towel underneath because sometimes my hair just drips and then I scrunch as hard as I can. Listen to the scrunch. That's what you want to hear. Now I'm just gonna go in and finger curl the front bangs just a little bit and now it's time to diffuse. The diffuser I like to use is this Dyson one and it came with this magnetic attachment that is the diffuser cloth. 
diffuser claw. What, what is this actually called? Like, is there an extended name or did I just make that up out of thin air? The settings I like to do is full air and only one heat. And I only do full air because I'm impatient. <laughs> I always start with diffusing upside down so I can get majority of the wetness away instantly. Oh, and also because I hate my white hair touching me, so I feel like this does the best job at avoiding that. How many times have I said I hate my white hair touching me today? <laughs> I'm gonna finish diffusing and I'll be right back. So this is how my hair looks directly after diffusing. I know this is intimidating for me too because it's like what is going on? It's not looking cute. But I'm gonna show you guys how to break a gel cast so that your curls go from looking like this to this. So I'm gonna be taking the Mellow Hair Moisture Retention Butter and I'm gonna take about this much. It just melts right into the hands and turns into this really creamy, buttery consistency. And then I just smooth it throughout my hair like this and then watch the curls just pop up. I'll do one side just to show you guys the difference. I only did that for a couple seconds and you guys can already see the really big difference. Taking a little bit more for the other side. Using an oil or butter for this step is also just gonna be really nice for your curls. It's a great boost of moisture. As you can see, after breaking the gel cast, my curls are looking so fluffy but still super defined and they're also so shiny and we can thank the butter for that. Now I have tried so many curl products but this duo is just doing exactly what it has to do these days. I find myself naturally just constantly reaching for these two products and if these were the only two products in my collection I honestly would not be mad at it. Obviously I would need shampoo and conditioner so. But I've just been so happy with my curls recently. Even after bleaching and dyeing my hair again my curls are still looking phenomenal and my curl health is super important to me but also I want colorful fun hair. So having products that make my hair look really good but also feel really good is a must for me right now. And all the time. <laughs> well, if you're not already using a curl gel, I hope this video convinced you to try one. I cannot say enough good things about curl gels, so I hope once you try it, you'll fall in love with it too. Based on your curl pattern and hair texture, you may need less or more gel than what I used. So it might take a few times of you trying it to figure out what works best for you. I just want to thank you guys again so much for 500k on YouTube. This seriously means the world to me. And I also just want to say thank you so much for your support on all of my other platforms platforms as well. Your comments and DMs do not go unnoticed and I do try my best to reply to everybody. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. The link to my other socials will be in the description box below as well if you want to go check those out. I am constantly on my Instagram and TikTok as well as YouTube shorts so if you guys want to see more content of me, because why wouldn't you? <laughs> make sure you check out my other platforms. If you do use a curl gel, let me know which one you use in the comments so I can try it out. And I literally love you so much. Have an amazing day. Bye.